This is Dr. Holt. In this video, I want to talk about how to sum forces and find reactional forces here at A and B. Um, here I have a beam. It has a mass of 5 kilograms. It has a 60 newton force being applied at an angle at 50 degrees. Support A is 0.5 meters from this end, and support B would be what 0.75 from this end here. Now B is just a roller, because so B cannot take any horizontal load, it can only take vertical load. A, let me move this down actually, it's kind of looking kind of funny. A is going to be pinned here. I'll do this a different color. So A can take vertical and horizontal load. When you have a problem like this, first thing you want to do is draw yourself a good free by diagram. And then we'll do that down here. We'll come down and we'll draw this representing here. I will draw the force coming down. And this will be my 5 times 9.8 coming down here. Put it approximately in the middle. Let me do that with a vector. I will label that 49 newtons. Okay. Now, what I'm recommending here is go ahead and break this into components. I want to take 60 times the cosine of 50 to get my x component. I will put it approximately at that location here. And that value will give me 38.57 newtons. 60 times the sine of 50. And that gives me a value of 45.96. So I'll kind of put this off to the side. But again, they're going right to the same point. 45. 0.96 newtons here. I will draw my reaction at B going up and I will label that as F B and I'll call it Y as being a Y component, vertical component. Here I will draw this up. This will be a reaction. Oops, sorry. Let me do that again. I want to do this over here. I'll line it up where A is. A being here and I'll draw this force coming over like this. We will label this F A Y. We will label this F A X. And again, you can call this F A vertical, F A horizontal, F B vertical if you choose to. All right. So there's my uh, free body diagram of my object. Okay. Now we go back, and we can say that this. And we'll label. Actually, let me label the points too. I'll label this point as A, and label this point as B. From this point, I can say this. I can say I can sum the moments at A and set it equal to 0. I could sum the moments at B and set it equal to 0. I can sum the forces in the Y and set it equal to 0. And I can sum the forces in the X and set it equal to 0. OK, at this point, go ahead and take, and it doesn't matter whether you take the moment at A or take the moment at B. I typically just start on the left, but it doesn't make a bit of difference. So if I sum the moments at A, and again, anything that's going to go this way, I'm going to be negative. Anything that goes up uh, counterclockwise, I'm going to be positive. So I will start in, and I will do the minus 45. Oops, I could write right. Minus 45.96. Nine six, and I'll do it. I'll put the units on there. Newtons, and I want the perpendicular distance away. The perpendicular distance away from A is going to be two minus 0 0.5. That's going to give me 1.5 minus my 49 times 1. Point, oops, I'll put the units on there. Ten. I said I'd do that. Make that 49 newtons times 1.5 meters. All right, now we have FBY. And now FBY is trying to cause this object, when I'm talking about pin it right here, it's going to cause it to rotate, so it's going to be positive, times the FBY distance, which in this case will be 2.75 meters. And the 2.75 is coming from here to here. I got, um, let's see here, we got uh, four minus this that gives me 3.75 and then I have to subtract what I have here that will give me 2.75 or you can just do 3.25 um, 
minus the 0 0.5, that gives me 2.75 from here to here. All right, now you notice here you only have one unknown. So I'll circle that. Now at this point you can solve this if you want, but we'll go ahead and write the rest of them. There's no reason to do FBY right now, we'll just go right here. We can sum the forces, and I'll sum the forces in the y direction first. I do the y, that's going to give me minus 49 newtons, minus 45.96 newtons, plus FBY, plus FAY is equal to zero. Here I have two unknowns, this one and this one. I'll do the x's now. I sum my forces in the x. Again, we set that equal to zero. That's going to give me minus 38.57 newtons plus FAX is equal to zero. And again, I have one unknown here. So we want to determine all these values through here. Now notice when I do the moments, again, I the reason I do not include the x components here is that there's no vertical distance. There's no perpendicular distance the vertical components are from this rotational point. So, they're, so the, their perpendicular distance would be zero, so they cancel out, so we do not include those. All right, so I'm going to take this problem here. Um, again, it's, you could solve this one first, and it makes no difference, or it can come up here. I cannot solve this because I have two unknowns. I'll just go right to the moment equation. If I take the moment equation and solve that, then I could say that F B Y is equal to 45.96 newtons times 1.5 meters plus 49 newtons times 1.5 meters divided by my 27.5 meters. Sorry, 2.75. Change that. I should use that big eraser. 2.75. Okay, now if you notice too, by putting the units in here, you notice meters cancel out here, here, and here, and you're left with the unit of Newton. When you do that problem, you will find out that FBY is equal to 51.798 newtons. All right, at this point, I can take this one here, I can put it right back into my summation of, vert of forces in the y and solve. So I can say that the sum of forces in the y again is equal to zero. I do minus 49 newtons minus my 45.96 newtons plus my 51.798 newtons plus F a y is equal to zero. We solve for F A Y. And when you do that, F A Y, you will get forty three point one six five newtons. Okay, now to solve for F A X, that one's easy. Obviously we just move this other side and we can state right now that F A X is equal to thirty eight. 0.57 newtons. Okay, and what this really means is if you take these forces, you add them back to the free by diagram, then this object is, is perfectly in equilibrium. I could take the, mo the moment at any point along this beam, I would get zero. I can sum the forces in the x direction, I will get zero. If I sum the forces in the y direction, I will get zero. All right, hope this video is useful. Best of luck on these type of problems.